January 30th, 2018, mesh grow bags here. Shit, there got my little habanero plants. It's pretty cool out today, kind of windy. Had a little cool front come through yesterday. And it's a little chilly out today, probably only uh, 65 degrees so far. Very windy, but I got these bins set up here. Get my long sleeve shirt on. Got my uh, bins set up here. Ooh, yeah, that's nice and warm in there. And uh, I've got my 50-50 mix of perlite and peat moss. Well, actually, it's uh, one-third uh, cocoa. And over here, I've got some of my Dendrocalamus giganteus seeds. If that's focusing, I don't know if it is. And what I did was I took all the hulls off of these. I saw where um, you're, it's recommended to take the hulls off. Whoa! There's some wind. The watering can away there. And uh, so I did the salt water bath uh, with the uh, one part salt, nine parts water. Soaked them for five to 15 minutes. These I think I soaked a little less, maybe five minutes. That seed there doesn't even look so good right there. But this is a hundred shucked seeds and I'm going to put them all in this bin which uh, should be ample and warm and uh, holds that humidity because I can see it right in there and uh, that should work good. Upon closer inspection I see this one I don't it, look, this one right here in the it looks like it's cracked or split that might be the outer little casing on there that I don't see any other ones that are like that. I don't know. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, warmer in here now that I had the lid on for a little while. And uh, I think it's adequate, uh, adequately moist. It looks a little moist, moister on the top. And it's supposed to just be where you can squeeze a little water out. And if I look at the side, the bottom is actually a little bit drier. It's moist, but not as moist as the top. So I think it's going to sink in a little bit and it's going to um, even out a little bit as time goes on. So I'm just going to take all these little sprouts here and <clears throat> stick them in one at a time as carefully as I can with the little point sticking up. I'm going to do a couple here, a couple there, a couple everywhere. Uh, there's three or four. Oops, I dropped a couple. That's there. We're just gonna shove them down in the mix there a little. And that's the way I they say to do it. Okay, so there's eight or so. Let me go finish this up. Okay, there we go. I got the uh Remember, I don't know where the microphone is on this, but I know it doesn't do well in the wind. Um, so there, I got uh, three quarters of this uh, bin all planted with the uh, um, Giganteus bamboo, Dendrocalamus Giganteus, which I, well, we hope it is. I think it's some of that Thailand gigantic. That's what it's advertised as. Of course, you never know what you're getting. So that's three quarters of the bin. There's um, every inch or so. There's a row. There's probably 12 or 14 rows, and um, 10 to 12 in a row, 14 in a row, maybe some of them. So we'll seal that up and uh, do the other bin with the um, 100 Moso bamboos that I got, and uh, cover them up, keep them out of the direct sun, but keep them warm. Is the idea. All right, well, here's a little close-up shot of the uh, Moso bamboo soaked overnight, shucked, of course, and they did the little salt treatment. I got a couple over here that were kind of black. There's one that's kind of black, and they were really mushy, and uh, yeah, so is that one. So those may not be good. They may have got a little over-dried or... Okay, you know, all the rest of them look like pretty good. They look like uh, little grains of wild rice. So we're going to get them in the uh, bin here. 
All right, and they did have uh, 18 of these Dendrocalamus strictus or uh, Calcutta bamboo seeds. They look like little popcorn kernels, kind of. They're not really uh, long and skinny like the other ones. They're kind of a little roundish. Hard to tell 